Hello everyone, happy Friday. I'm back with another idea. I am finishing up my retired items idea and today I'm using some more of that gorgeous Expressions in Ink paper and I have a fun card for you with lots of texture and layers but it's so quick and easy. Join me in the studio and I'll show you how. Here's today's card. I love the bright, bold colors in the pattern paper, and I pulled in some texture with an embossing folder. I used some more of that Expressions in Ink paper that is going to, dis, um, to retire in a few days. So if you haven't grabbed it, you might want to. I love this idea, and all the information about the card measurements is listed in the information section below. Please feel free to share my videos as I would love to have some more people watching and so I can share my ideas with. I just love sharing them. All right, so let's get started. Okay, we're going to start with a card base that's basic black and I've scored and folded it in half. My next layer up uses the ornate floral embossing folder. This embossing folder is retiring, so if you want it, make sure you get it. And I've embossed a piece of paper, um, cardstock I should say, it's not really paper. And let me take and add some tear and tape on the back of this and stick it to my card base. I use the tear and tape because when you emboss something, it has plateaus and valleys. And if you add the glue or the seal to it, it doesn't have a good grab and you wanna make sure your embossed piece stays down. So we have that one. The next one is this paper and I chose this image from there. I'm gonna put it on like that because it looks like it's right side up that way. And where did I put my seal? All right, I don't know what I did with my seal, so I just grabbed my glue. And I'm gonna add this to here. And again, if you need the measurements, you can get them on my blog. All right, now, this is going on here but this is embossed. I'm gonna put this in so my glue doesn't stick. Um, so this has to go on with tear and tape also. Okay, I want it this way. And it's about mm, three fourths of an inch from the top. I just kind of guess. All right, like so. And we have that on there. And I put it even with the pear papaya piece. When I had this put together, it missed something, so I pulled in another piece of the paper. So um, I love using our pattern paper because you can mix and match them. And that's what I did on this. So I'm gonna put this on. And you're probably wondering, how do I see that? Well, it's a little bit different than my background. And then this is gonna go on with tear and tape also because of the embossing. Um, 
I know some people don't use it, but I do. Okay, and this is the same size as the um, pale papaya. So I'm just going to stick this down, and it's mm, a little less than a half an inch difference down at the bottom. The only thing we have left is our sentiment. And I will tell you, I took my sentiment from this celebration set um, just a little high for me. I love this set. It is one of the best celebration items I have ever gotten. I have a mess of stuff over here. My glue dots all came apart. I don't know why. Let me clean that up because it's driving me crazy. All right. All right. And I'm going to stamp that right in the middle. Okay. And this to me was missing something. So I decided to pull out the dots from the Artistically Ink stamp set. And this set is carrying over, but it will not be a bundle. So if you want it, you need to buy it before May the 4th because you want the bundle price and you want to save. All right, let me get a scrap piece of paper here. Um, let me get this up here. I've got a post-it note I can use because I'm going to stamp some of those dots all over. Okay. Now all I need to do is to add this to my panel and I think the black really has the um, the paper to pop and it really grabs your eye so let me get this on here there we go and then this goes on with dimensionals <clears throat> if you know me I am a lover of dimensionals and I use them a lot. And then I can add it to my card base and our card is done. Okay. All right. Here we go. And I just put this right in the middle, right about there. I'm going to move it over slightly so I don't hide too much of my flower. And there it is. Same card, but because of where I cut the paper, a little different look. I hope you enjoy, enjoyed today's card and that you'll be back next Friday for another idea. Have a great weekend.